Welcome to Kakete Region! I was glad at that time that I was able to experience autumn at the other parts of Georgia. Kakete is the most visited region in Georgia. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Pia Dina. Today, I will be sharing with you Pia's travel in Georgia, Day 3 and Day 5 itinerary. On Day 3, we visited Kakheti Wine Region. Kakheti is a region formed in the 1990s in eastern Georgia from the historical province of Kakheti and the small mountainous province of Tusheti. Tel Aviv is the capital. Tenadi and Signa G are the most visited towns. You can have a day trip to Kakheti Wine Region from Tbilisi. Georgia has five main regions of vining cultures and Kakheti is generally hailed as the most important one for the country's economy. The basins Alansani and Lori are renowned for producing high-quality Georgian wines. Here, the grapes grow on humus carbonate black and alluvial soils in vineyards situated 400 to 700 meters above sea level. Both traditional Georgian winemaking methods and methods imported from Europe are employed in Kakheti. Traditionalist winemakers will press their grapes in Saknakeli wine press and pour the wine mass into fabric, a type of earth, earthenware vessels where wine is fermented, stored and aged. The chacha or grape skins, stalks and pipes is left in but will sink to the bottom of the query as the alcoholic fermentation is completed. The first racking typically takes place in March after which the wine is aged for a year. For many centuries, Kakheti has been hailed for its high extraction table wines wines containing a lot of phenolic compounds and tannins. Kakheti is a quick trip from Tbilisi. Traveling by car, it takes 1.5 to 2 hours to reach Shinagi from Tbilisi and just under 2 hours to reach Tel Aviv. There are a range of different options for traveling Tbilisi and Kakheti including cheap matsushka, vans, shared taxis, private taxis, and organized day tours. If you are on a budget, Masrushka vans are perfectly acceptable. For this trip, I avail the day tours from Geo Travel Georgia by Georgie with my newfound friends Alma, Ivy, and Jerry. Take a shout out to you guys! We opted for lunch at the traditional Georgian restaurants. We were glad to join this tour as we went to two famous wineries. Georgie is a great tour guide. He was very knowledgeable about the place and the areas and told us a little bit of history of their country. Wine tasting was really fun. You should surely add this tour when you visited Georgia. Winery Kareba is the most probably famous winery in the Kakheti region and is well known for its labyrinthine network of subterranean tunnels operating as its wine cellar. Because of its popularity, it is also the most commercialized and expensive winery to visit on the list. A visit to Kareva includes a tour of part of the expansive wine cave, a network of tunnels that were originally built to be a warm concrete but were then repurposed into a wine cellar when they realized the temperature was consistent with the ideal range between 12 to 14 degrees. Currently, a tour of the wine cellar with a tasting of two traditional style wine costs 15 gel. Though, there are numerous tasting and tour packages to choose from with a different pricing structure. Just ask your tour guide or check in the websites. Did I mention that Georgia arguably the oldest wine-making tradition in the world, with vintage going back to 8,000 years? 
Wine tourism in Georgia is a growing phenomenon and the country's main wine producing region, Kakheti, is conveniently located within East easy reach from the country's capital. This beautiful region located in the valley of the river Alasani is popular for both locals and tourists alike, looking for a fun getaway from the big city with the main drew being the beautiful hilltop town of Shignagi or Signagi. Or you can have a leisurely walk at the town center and admire the charming town center. Just sit back and enjoy the wines. On my fifth day in Georgia, I availed the Tbilisi tour. Tbilisi is the largest and the capital city of Georgia, lying on the banks of the Kuro River. Tbilisi has important landmarks and sightseeing locations. The parliament and government first the state sanctuary, buildings of Georgia, the Supreme Court of Georgia, the San Ivo Cathedral, the Boronsov Palace, or also known as the Children's Palace today, the National Public Library of the Parliament of Georgia, the National Bank of Georgia, Tbilisi Circus, the Bridge of Peace, and many state museums which are located in Tbilisi. During the Soviet times, Tbilisi continuously ranked in the top four cities in the Soviet Union for the number of museums. Out of the city's historic landmarks, the most notable are the Narikala Fortress, the Anishkati Basilica, which is built up in the 16th century, and the Sioni Cathedral, which is built in the 8th century, and the Church of Meteki Open Air Museum of Ethnography, Sulpurbat, and the Tbilisi Old City. You can just easily walk around at the Tbilisi Old Town and admire the most amazing places in the Old Town. You can also visit the Tatsminda Park, a beautiful outdoor place to visit. Here, you can have an outstanding view of the city from the city's TV tower, explore Tbilisi's highest point, the park's ferry wheel, and it is a lovely romantic place to go with your other half. We also visited the Narikala Fortress. This fortress dates back to the 4th century AD. You can take the cable car up to, to the one of the most recognizable landmarks in Tbilisi. This is another spot where you can get a standing view of Tbilisi. I also saw the Mother Georgia statue. This is one of the most important landmarks in Georgia. It offers also a panoramic view over the city. This is a 20-meter aluminum state statue guarding over the capital. I also visited the Holy Trinity Cathedral of Tbilisi. Unfortunately, I was not able to take a silver bath, but I was able to take the cable cart to the top of the Mother Georgia statue. I was able to try the local cuisines. The Holy Trinity Cathedral of Tbilisi or also known as Ameba, is the main cathedral of the Georgian Orthodox Church located in Tbilisi. It is constructed between 1995 and 2004. It is the third tallest Eastern Orthodox Cathedral in the world and one of the largest religious buildings in the world by total area. If you are in Georgia, you must ride the cable car. It is one of the steepest vehicular trunk in the world and a very scenic ride up to the Tasminda Mountain. This historic cable road was constructed more than 100 years ago. It connects city with Tatsminda Amusement Park which offers best view of the city and many dining options you can find up there. Narikala is an ancient fortress overlooking Tbilisi and the Makbari River. The fortress consists of the two walled section on a steep hill between the Sulphur Bus and the Botanical Gardens of Tbilisi. Visiting the Narikala Fortress, you will feel like you are in an episode of the Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings. It is sitting at the top of the capital in Tbilisi. It is an, a it is an ancient structure that dates back all the way back to the 4th century, around the time when the city was also founded. The Bridge of Peace 
is a bowl shaped pedestrian bridge of steel and glass construction illuminated with numerous LEDs over the Kura River, linking the Reich Park with Old Town in central Tbilisi. Since its opening in 2010, the structure has become an important pedestrian crossing in the city as well as significant tourist attraction and one of the most well-recognized landmarks of the capital. Overall, I enjoyed the Tbilisi City Tour. I hope you will get inspired to visit Georgia by watching this video. Georgia is a beautiful country that you must visit. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Watch out for the part 3 of my Georgia's travel. My first snowfall experience and my skiing lessons in Budaudi. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notification. Like, comment, and share.